live from the local station. News 4 Jack starts now. The woman, this Jacksonville woman says she will no longer take the Matthews Bridge because she was shot in the face with a BB gun right after she crossed the river. The BB is lodged in the woman's jaw. It was fired through the open passenger window of her car. And police are trying to catch those who were involved. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott talked to the woman and is joining us live near the bridge. Jim, she wants other drivers to be aware of what happened to her? Exactly, because she really didn't expect anything like this to happen, even though there's been some problems in the past. It happened last night as she was crossing the Matthews Bridge and was quite surprised at everything and how all of this went down. Beth was driving home in her car last night, just like any other night, when the unexpected happened. Her passenger window was down and a BB came whizzing in, hitting her in the face. What did you think? Uh, maybe a rock, a, a bullet. I couldn't... I couldn't imagine just driving, you know, home and having something impact my face. So I had no idea. And when they told me that it was a BB, I couldn't believe it. Beth looks OK now. The bandage is covering the wound. But she says last night there was blood everywhere. And it appeared the BB is lodged in her jaw and will stay there for some time until it comes out naturally. Beth says when it happened, she kept her composure, pulled over and called police. That's what our crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, says you should do. Try not to stop, if at all possible, exactly where it happened, simply because uh, the shooter may be aiming for you. So you want to get out of there, call the police, and then seek medical help. That says police told her it may have been a group of teens that live in the area. She also says this may not be the first time. But you think this has happened before? Yes, I do. I have been traveling this route for years, and... I have noticed vehicles abruptly pulling to the median and after hearing what I thought to be rocks hitting my car. So possibly they were concerned, you know, right. that maybe they were more aware of BB guns. That says being aware is the important thing here. Of course, we've requested a police report from this incident and any other incidents similar to this, hoping that it will spell that out. And we've asked JSO and we've requested that, haven't received that at this point. And as you had mentioned, Beth now is no longer going to take the Matthews Bridge. We're live at the base of the Matthews Bridge, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.